Like instead of like just oh you you suck you're fucking bad like what's the point? Yeah. So saying directly what you want me uh to do, then I'm gonna take it. But someone just say like oh like you are so garbage. Then what's the point? I don't I don't care. I don't feel bad. Yeah. And I I think you just you just have no brain. You don't know how to criticism. So Zento from Esports Heaven, and I have here with me Team Liquid Support mm -hmm. in Ole, and you guys just beat CLG, and they had this weird comp of Sejuani and Kled. Did you kind of expect something like that from them? Uh, actually, we knew, like, kind of knew, like, uh, if we pick Nocturne, they can make some composition so that like some composition that Nocturne cannot kill like they pick Vladimir, Kled, Sejuani, Mundo like Nocturne can't solo kill them yeah it's all tanky yeah, right? and then Pike you cannot really catch him so like yeah we knew like oh they're gonna pick like something Nocturne cannot kill we, uh -huh. we were kind of sure so yeah I think we just we just did our best well well like how do you how do you play against a composition like that? Because uh, multiple times they they would just charge in with Kledel and then it's like you have a Sejuani running at you mm -hmm. super fast yeah. and so she's just going to ult you. So it's like you kind of have to have a sacrificial lamb at that point and oftentimes you were that guy that was just like, well... Yeah. Well, I'm going to shield. That's it. <laughs> okay, well, so on other news... Who he got his his green card? He got his citizenship mm -hmm. now. Uh, how do you feel about more players being able to do that now? Do you see yourself as like possibly getting that in the future, whether it it's like here in North America or maybe mm -hmm. like Europe or something? I think that's a really great part. But the thing is like like if they want to live here, like if they want green card they have to live in USA at least six months every year I know that's the lure of green card so like there's one Korean for example he play well here maybe he get green card but he has no plan to live in USA after retirement then his green card doesn't mean anything right so who he has, has green card that's great he has girlfriend he has like great like family around here and yeah, it's really good for him. I really like it. But mm -hmm. the other Koreans, like even though they get it, they are not gonna live in USA after retirement. Yeah, so, I mean, well, like none of your family is over here. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of friends back home too. So it's just like, is it really worth it? Uh, but at the same time, that increases like your market value for North American teams, mm -hmm. right? So it's like if if you get a green card then you're kind of saying that you want to continue your pro play within North America right yeah but I mean like I I thought about it a lot like okay I get green card so then what like I I don't I just live in here and that's it yeah you know like maybe my value gonna get higher because I can I don't need import slot anymore but I'm getting old so I'm not sure when I'm gonna retire too so like green card looks so good but doesn't really look that so great you know okay because yeah you know, maybe to who is so damn great you know he has girlfriend here maybe he's gonna make some family in usa yes and then for him it's great and then when you look at some other korean here like look at someday look at me and look at other koreans like even like they they can still speak English, but their English is not really the same level as the Korean. Mm -hmm. And then they also don't have family here. They don't have yeah, like bad. They don't have like best friend from Korea, you know. So like it's absolutely new here. And like and then if you ask them, you gonna live in Korea or USA? And then yeah, yeah some people say Korea. The other side maybe say USA. So I don't think one person Korean gonna get green card here. So, okay. Well, let's uh, let's switch tones a little bit uh, to the gameplay because 
the community has just been harping on you specifically mm -hmm. for Team Liquid, yeah. saying like, oh, he doesn't have enough confidence in his plays. Mm -hmm. You know, he's he's lacking just in synergy with Double Lift. Mm -hmm. So, like, how are you handling all this criticism? Like, do you even pay attention to Reddit or Twitter at all? I I do it sometimes, and. The thing is like after MSI, I tweet, even that is my tweet, like I realized my lots of problem in uh in MSI, so I'm gonna face my problems and then I'm gonna take every criticism seriously. I literally said that. So that's my promise to my fans and myself. So when someone say, Oh Ole, you're playing so bad, oh Ole, you're inting, you're trolling but those words like it's it's nothing. You know, like if you say, Ole, I think your black shield was late. I think you have to focus on helping your teammate. That's good part. Yeah, that's valid criticism, yeah. right? That's yeah. something you can that's use to criticism. improve. That's criticism. Like instead of like just, oh, you you suck, you're fucking bad. Like, what's the point? Yeah. So saying directly what you want me uh, to do, then I'm gonna take it. But someone just say like, Ole, you are so garbage. Then what's the point? I don't I don't care. I don't feel bad. Yeah, and I, I think you just you just have no brain. You don't know how to criticism, and then that's it. True. Well, speaking of criticism, uh, talking about like Double Ifs Mage um, Champion Pool, mm -hmm. and how at the beginning like he was playing Vlad, and everyone was criticizing him yeah. <laughs> for his Vlad play. So how is it uh, playing with an ADC that's not really that comfortable with playing this like new type of meta in the bot lane? Mm. Is it is it very hard for you to kind of also give criticism to him, and then just how do you adapt when someone is learning, you know, mm. like with training wheels at that point? I think I just as a teammate, I have to wait for him. Like he like he can't just be best blood middle, you know, in like one or two weeks. So like if he say oh, I need more time, I can't really play where on blood, then I will say I will wait for you. Even though we're gonna just lose uh, like stage game, we're gonna lose two between bot, I don't mind. I love your trying. That's it. And then we die, but and the people just flame me. Oh, all of your list is so blah blah blah. <laughs> the thing is like, yeah, you know, that time, like the yesterday, the flycast, is it? I don't know. The flycast match when we played blood, that was like, Peter say woke up, and I just woke up. They kill me. That's it. <laughs> but like, I say nothing about it. Like, yeah. I I can just say it right now because Timmy just put that communication part on our squad video but I, I, I don't want to blame him you know like I just uh, like I also had to say no when he made that call if I think that's wrong and but as a botio I believe in uh, his confidence I believe in his score so I just woke up and I just die no no don't need to blame don't need to blame Peter yeah like, we are just unit and there's no point to blame like maybe we can just leave you out, oh, Peter. I say this time I cannot walk up because blah yeah. blah blah. That's it. Well, I mean, I mean, at that point, you both know it's like the wrong call, so it doesn't help any anyone to just say like that was the wrong call. Like I'm I'm mm. so mad that I died, dude. Like why'd you say that? Like it it doesn't matter. Yeah, cause... I I was not angry to him. I was like yeah. just I was kind of mad at myself. Like maybe at the time I had to just say no, even though he said strongly, I don't care. I had to play correctly by myself instead of listening to him at like one percent. But I just, yeah, you know, I just criticize by myself, and then that's it. So. Okay. Well, so the meta is now changing to this upcoming patch. They're kind of removing gold funneling, mm -hmm. and Team Liquid has been this team that it just plays traditional. So there's been this tumultuous time within the standings to where all these other teams that weren't expected to be good you know from last split are now really good like mm -hmm. say uh, optic gaming is having their surge and mm -hmm. golden guardians are having their surge um, but we've seen a lot of funneling as well too from these teams so what do you expect within the upcoming patch since that's getting nerfed do you think it's like time for team liquid to rise good for us of course yeah <laughs> you guys can't just win by strategy now like like there were so many land of stuff right just falling and then like mid laner just go to bot playing vladimir swing whatever but 
yeah, you guys can't do funneling, then and the typical nerf. So are you gonna still play some random crazy swing blood or some like the crazy stuff? Then it's our time. That's good news, man. Well, that's all I really have for you this interview. Uh, this has been Azento from Esports Heaven and Ole from Team Liquid. Thank you. Thank you. I assume if you made it this far, you probably enjoyed the content. So if you did, subscribe and also check out my other content that's more analytical and opinionated. But otherwise, keep it locked at esportsheaven.com and I'll see you next time. Peace.